Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back my beloved kings and queens, my name is Joyce McTeer and I'm going to be your host for another Crafty Vision segment. Alright y'all, so this is the second Crafty Vision segment that, I, and that I've done so far uh, for this coming year. I hope everybody's 2022 is going very, very well. So let's go ahead and get into this here video. Okay, everyone. So for those of you who who follow me here on YouTube, I don't know if you all saw a video that I did uh, showing y'all this here necklace and earring set that I created. I'm going to show you how to make the earrings. The earrings are, you make the earrings, you make the necklace the same way you make the earrings. The only thing about the difference between the two is that you have less, you don't have as many cowie shells than you do on the necklace, okay? You're gonna need some cowie shells. So I'm only gonna show y'all, like I said, how to make the earrings because the necklace takes some time to to make okay you're gonna need eight cowie shells you're gonna need two different two different sizes of wood beads I'm using a 10 millimeter wood bead right here that you can get from Amazon and I'm using a 12 millimeter wood bead wood bead which is more like an oval kind of shape of a burl bead you're going to need two fish hooks and I'm using copper wire and um, some jump rings, okay? You're gonna need some suede cord. I brought this <laughs> from amazon.com uh, and you're gonna need some round nose pliers and some wire cutters. Now you can get this from amazon.com but also Walmart sells this in uh, a shade of three different, two, um, two packs with three different shades on each pack okay and so you can also get this from Walmart all right so basically what we're going to do is we are going to take a generous amount okay I don't really need that much okay I'm gonna say maybe about 24 inches okay so all right and this is what you're gonna have all right now what you want to do next is you wanna start with your largest cowie shells. Now I wanna tell y'all a secret about this design. When you decide to use whatever cowie shell you decide to use, if it's, the, if it's a real big one, you wanna put that one down on the bottom. Okay, you wanna put this one, this is gonna be your starter. Now each cowie shell, when you look at the shells, Sometimes the back can be really, really thick, and I'm gonna, none of these are like that, but okay. Sometimes the, the spaces back here can be pretty thick. What you wanna do is you wanna get one that is, con, that is shaved as close to this opening as possible because it's going to make it so much easier for your cowie shell to lay down in place. So now let's go ahead and get started. Now what you want to do is you want to take your your suede cord, put them two together, and you want to pick which one is the largest. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Now you don't have to sit and decide like, you know, how you're going to put this together in, in the different orders. You just want your large bead to pretty much be on the bottom. So you're going to take your, your shell, you're going to take it through, and you're going to pull it all the way down like this on your cord. You're going to bring it in between where you see that middle part. You want to bring it in between there. And then you're going to take one of your fingers and you're going to tie a knot. Okay? You're going to tie a knot just like this. When you tie your knot, you want to bring it down just like this. 
okay? That's how you want to do it, all right? Now, what you want to do next is you want to take another cowrie shell, and you want to do the same thing. You want to take it through, pull it all the way down like this, and you're going to take, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, because what you're doing is you're layering in each piece. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing. Okay, you're gonna tie a knot, but this time you're gonna tie it twice. So you're gonna tie one knot there. Okay, one knot there. And then you're gonna tie another knot. Okay, just like this. Now what's gonna happen with this, as you start adding on your shells, the more shells you add, it's going to start, you're gonna start having like a curve. It's gonna start making like a, like a kind of sort of like a snake design, is, a, is what I'm gonna say. The more you do this, you'll, you'll start to see, the more shells you add on, you'll start seeing the actual design start curving into a pretty much like a I guess you could say a snake so what you want to do next is you want to have these two pieces right here now you want to go down to the second one the one that's down here is where you want to add on your next shell so you want to take add on your shell bring it all the way down like this and wherever this shell is, this shell is always, the next shell is always going to be above the shell that you just added, okay? And then all you do is tie it twice. So you tie it one time, bring it all the way down, just like this. and then you tie it one more time. Okay. And every time you do this, you pretty much wanna go with your second. The one that's to the back is the one that you wanna go with as far as your wire, okay? So this is what it's looking like so far. Now you wanna add on your next one. You wanna do that the same way. Take it down. Okay. And you wanna take your hand, put your finger through, if at all possible, and just tie it. And every time you tie it, make sure that it's nice and snug in between that crease, this little opening right here. Make sure it's nice and tight in between there. And then we're going to tie it in a knot. Just like this. Okay. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go with our next one, this is the string that is to the back. So that's what we're gonna go with. Not this one, but this one. So we're gonna add this on from the, and pretty much you're going to go from the front, I mean from the back to the front of your shell. And you tie it just like this. Okay. And you want to tie it one more time. And we have three more shells to do. Pull it. 
And be careful when you're using this suede cord because you don't want to pull on it too much because you don't want it to pop. Now this is what we have so far. Okay, now you're gonna go with not this piece, but this piece. So we're gonna add on our next one from the front, um, from the back to the front. Okay, take it through. I'm gonna tie it. And then we're going to tie it one more time. Okay, now you're gonna go with this piece. All right, now as y'all can see, this is what it's looking like so far. So we're going to go with this one here. From the back to the front. Okay. Tie it one more time. Okay. And tight. And then we're gonna go with this piece here. From the back to the front. And this is our last one. Okay, take it through. Now, once you tie it, the next thing you wanna do is this is pretty much your earring. This is how it's looking. You're gonna take your jump ring and make sure that it's closed, it's nice and tight. Put it through on this side. Okay, now what, let me explain this to you. The, the cord that is pretty much going down towards the back of your earring, that's not where you want to put your jump ring. You want to put it on your front, the one that's pretty much in the front, or on top, I should say. And then when you do that, you want to take and make another loop or tie or knot just like this. Okay, and you're going to have this. Now you want to take this through. All right, and this is pretty much what you're going to have. Okay. Now, but before we do that, I'm going to take it back this way, and I'm going to tie another knot. Okay. So you want to tie it twice. You want to make two knots because you do want it to stay in place. Okay, and here is, pretty much here is how it's going to look. This is pretty much how your earring is going to look. Okay, now if you were to make it as a necklace like this, you would just continue the steps that I showed you in the, ver you know, that I showed you all the way up. And what I mean by when I say it look like a snake, see how it's going? just like this, but you got to make sure that you do it in the steps that I show you. If you don't do it that way, you may come up with something else. So I'm going to take this piece back through like this, and this is pretty much what you're going to have. Now this is your jump ring. Everything is on. And the next thing you want to do is you want to start adding on your beads. Now you can make you can leave your, if you want to, you can leave your cord long. You can leave it hanging down. It, de it depends on your preference and what you want. Uh, some of these holes with some of these beads, sometimes they don't, um, they don't be big enough. And they, 
you know, can give you a little run for your money. So you want to put your green ones on first, like this. And you want to pull it all the way to where, however you want it to be, however long you want it to be. Okay. And then you're going to take the brown ones and you're going to add these on. Just like this on both sides. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and tie a knot right here. Just like this. Okay. Tie my knot right there. And actually, that's a little too high. I don't want them to be that high. I want them not, I want them to actually hang away from the bees. Yeah, so that's 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 good right there. And I'm gonna tie my knot like that and bring that down. Yep. And I like how that's laying. And then I'm going to come on this side and pretty much do the same thing. I uh, might want this side to be a little shorter than the very first side. Okay. So I'm going to make a knot right here. Well, actually, it don't really make a difference. And I'm going to... Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip right here. Make sure this is nice and tight. I'm gonna snip here, bring this down, and then I'm gonna snip here. Bring this down, and then I'm gonna snip right here. Just like that, okay? And then all you do is take your fish hook or whatever you, whatever you're using. You don't necessarily have to use uh, you don't have to use uh, copper wire if you don't if you don't want to. You can use whatever wire you have. But um, you got yourself a really gorgeous pair of earrings. And like I said, if you want to, you can definitely. Uh, if you want to, you can make the necklace to go along with it, but these are the earrings, okay? And this is something that you can, this, this technique that I just showed y'all to do today, you can do this technique with other beads. You don't necessarily have to do it with just the cowrie shells. This is, this is your end result. This is what you're going to have. This is gorgeous. Is this is a beautiful jewelry. Like you can make this set and give it to somebody for any occasion, an anniversary, a birthday, whatever you wanna, however you wanna do it, okay? So I just wanted to come to y'all to show y'all this here design, this here technique. And uh, you can order, cause I know somebody's gonna ask me, the cowrie shells you can get from Amazon.com and what I do is I get on Amazon I put in cowrie shell and I like real cowrie shells I don't like the plastic stuff they got a lot of stuff now that's plastic these are real so I want I like the real ones so you can get on there and order that I'll make sure I'll leave all of that information somewhere in the description box for you all to go and just go to Amazon.com and put the information in cowrie shell c-o-w-r-i-e and uh <clears throat> and go ahead and make yourself some awesome things y'all so with that being said i want to take this time to say thank you to my new supporters and my loyal supporters i greatly appreciate each and every one of you all uh for watching for writing a comment and for all your support that you show me here on this channel so with that being said until my next upload my beloved kings and queens peace and blessings see ya